defining and segmenting your competition. Now, the first thing that happens to entrepreneurs when I mention the word competition is one of two things. Either they get nervous and they get a little scared and they want to kind of run away from it. Or two, they get a little cocky and say, oh, I don't have any competition. I don't need to worry about anybody. I've created something unique and different and special in the world. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm here to tell you that you want competition. Competition is very important to your overall business and it helps validate the market. It helps say that there's a vibrant market out there uh, for your business. And that's very important for not only you and understanding the feasibility of your business, but also for investors. Investors want to know that when they're, they're investing in your business, that they're investing in a, an established market, that they're, and that helps reduce the risk and possibly also reduce the amount of money they have to put into your business to make it successful. Now, the second thing I tell entrepreneurs all the time is to embrace your competition. You want to know everything you can about your competitors. It's very important. I, the first thing I do when I have a business idea or I'm starting a business is I go to Google and I start Googling my competition. I start printing out uh, pieces of paper on the, on the competition and their websites and, and such because it's so important that I just really get into the minds of my competitors as well. Now, when I'm working with my competition, I kind of break it down into two areas. One is I want to define my competition by really understanding the characteristics of them. And the second thing I do is I do kind of a market segmentation exercise where I break them up into different groups, right? So I can understand how those groups interplay with one another. But I just want to make sure that you understand the more you know about your competition, the better off you're going to be, which is great. So let's take a look at defining your competition. The first thing is I like to look at their strengths and their weaknesses, just to understand how they're what I'm what I'm up against, if you will. The other thing is I love to look at their positioning strategy because if I can understand how they're positioned in the market, whether they're positioned up market or down market, uh, or they're providing a certain type of service and uh, a complete service, or maybe a particular piece of a service, that's really important information to me. I also want to understand things like their pricing strategy. Are they really expensive or are they super cheap? Or do they discount a lot or are they never discount? Those are all pieces of information that's telling me about the competition and how I might actually position against that the, the competitors. Uh, how about the size of the company as well? I want to know how many locations they have. I want to know uh, maybe how many employees they have or about their revenue. If you can get to their revenue, that's great. It's not always easy to do, but if you can get to the revenue number, and then it tells you how large the company is and, and how you're going to have to deal with them as well. And then finally, their com uh, customers. I always like to look at their customers because that tells me, are they targeted at an older market, a younger market, an educated market? How, how are they addressing the market and how I might address the market differently. Then the second thing I like to do is I want to segment. And, and when I look at market segmentation, I want to really understand the interplay within those different segments. How those segments uh, kind of interact with one another becomes, it really helps me start to understand where I might be positioned in that marketplace. Now, I like to look at a couple of things. First of all, in each individual market segment, I want to see if there are opportunities. There are opportunities I can go after. Uh, and by looking at individual market segments, I can find those opportunities. I can find kind of the holes in the market that I might want to address or position my company slightly differently to be able to take advantage of. The other thing is if I find a market segment that's saturated, I might decide oh, I want to stay away from that or position away from that particular uh, market market segment. Then finally, and I love this, I want to either I want to figure out either if that market segment is trending up or trending down. So let me give you a personal example uh, that will help illustrate market segmentation to you. So while I was at work, um, I wanted to make sure that my dog, Jake, who I absolutely love to death, was well taken care of. So I went out to my community and looked at about 20 different options. And they kind of, I noticed that they broke down into individual buckets. So first bucket was I could go ahead and take him to a kennel. First of all, that didn't even sound very good just because Kennel doesn't have a very good name to it and it felt like he was going to be put in a cage all day long. And I would never have that for my dog, Jake. The second option is I had the what I call the free option. I could uh, uh, drop him off at a friend's house every day and he could be cared for there. That's fine, but you know, may not be the greatest option for me. So the third option that I had was kind of what we call a doggy daycare. And basically what they would do is they would pull up in a beautiful van. Uh, you know, he had a nice air conditioned van to go into. They would whisk him away off to uh, a place field uh, with uh, other dogs. Uh, there was a pool there so he could take a dip in the afternoon, come back in his air-conditioned van and lounge the rest of the day. Sounded like a pretty good option for me. Now, I could have even gone one step further, which I didn't do, but I could have, which is kind of the luxury hotel where it's almost like a doggy spa, if you will, where he's get taken care of every day, belly scratches, and that really, really high-end service. But I chose that doggy daycare option. I thought that was the best. So by looking at this example, we can start to see that the market of taking care of your 
your dog every day starts to break up into different buckets. And each one of those uh, different competitors uh, had to be aware of those markets and understand what was going on in each one as we're making those decisions. So I want you now to look at your market and see how it breaks up for you, just like in this example.